NDI is a little bit bandwidth heavy if you've got multiple um, sends going to various places. So here I have one vMix send, just output one. And you can see I'm consuming 600 and something meg of the stream. You can see it's bouncing around as data goes up and down. And that's because I'm sending it to uh, another vMix box. I'm sending it to vMix and also got the NDI um, monitor running. And then I have another box with two instances of uh, the NDI, the same feed into Resolute Marina, and then a, a third instance with two NDI monitors. So added, adding them all up, you get, you know, 600 meg. A, a normal stream might be 120 to 200. So it adds up pretty quickly. Now, if you're transmitting to a lot of places the same source, and that is the only thing that's transmitting from a machine, what you can actually do is just enable multicast. So when you enable multicast, you send one stream to the switch, and then your network switches, if they are um, multicast enabled, will only send it on to certain places. So if IGMP snooping um, is, is enabled and you've got a query, it will only send it to the um, devices that request it. And if you have a standard like layer two switch, then it will just flood uh, everything in your network segment with that multicast traffic. So you hand off the task of rather than sending a stream individually to every endpoint, you just sort of send it and let the network deal with it. So different way of working. Anyway, how you enable this is if you go to Access Manager, which I already have open, in the advanced, there is there is a multicast option. So in here, you would enable your multicast. There's a whole warning. Uh, you click OK. Uh, you can enter a custom multicast address. So by default, it's um, 239.255.00. I'm just going to, to to one. You have your network mask, which um, don't worry too much about. And then in here, you have your time to live. Now, your time to live gets decreased by one on every multicast router. Hop. So that's quite important. So um, between all of my machines, I only have one switch. So having my TTL as one is perfectly adequate. If I didn't have my TTL set to one, if I had it set to 10, it would propagate from that switch in between these machines to my wider network. Let's click OK to that. Now that won't change anything immediately. So what I will need to do is close vMix. You see my network traffic will go and drop to, to zero. Uh, and if I then open the same file back up, When it starts transmitting, you will see it has gone up to roughly 100. So 120 is normally where I see this particular video sitting or bouncing around at. So you see I'm just sending essentially one stream. So earlier on I was sending 600, now I'm only sending 150. Now I can go back through all my machines. You can see my vMix and the NDI monitor on this machine are both receiving it. I can jump to my Resolume and you can see here that I'm receiving both feeds. And I can jump to my other machine that's got two NDI monitor instances running, and they are both receiving as well. You just have to go into Access Manager, into Advanced, and then enable Multicast and give it an IP address. So what's important to know is that any sending um, devices or sending uh, sources from this machine would then be treated as multicast. So if you are not careful, you can flood your network with multicast NDI which can be quite network intensive if you do not have a correctly configured snooper and IGMP querying in your network.